I hit something. The paint chipped big time. There's little spots of blood everywhere. And the splitter's broken. The only reason that splitter's on there is because of these little things. But yeah, I was going to work last night and there was like a one well, like a dead coyote or a fox. And there were a couple cars in front of me. So I couldn't really swerve. I was just a couple feet away from them. We we're all going 40, 45 miles per hour. It's pitch black. Um, and I just saw something coming out of the car from underneath the car with the car in front of me. And I had no time to swerve, just ran it over. This is what happened. Alright, so this is the uh, the rest of the carbon fiber that I have. Um, I've been messing around with it, just practicing, checking things out, see how, how to properly use um, the carbon fiber with the resin and epoxy. I think we're going to use it to sort of just stick the splitter. it works and we'll see what happens from there all right so I just cut the carbon fiber part that I'm gonna use uh, that's all I have left but this is the uh, little strip that I'm gonna be using to put on here and hopefully uh, I can make some magic work I don't know if it's gonna work but I'm gonna give it a shot For those of you who thought that I was only going to use that carbon fiber to hold the splitter on, you guys were wrong. I'm going to put some bolts too. I obviously didn't just use the carbon fiber um, fabric. There's no way that's going to hold the splitter in place. Um, it's a really thick splitter. But I mean, it, I was going like 40 or 45 miles per hour. And I hit something I hit something pretty pretty strong but I think it'll hold up here's a screw um, I'm just waiting for the glue to dry and then I'll be adding the epoxy resin I have to mix it but I, I think it'll do freaking still blood everywhere all up in here all over the bumper when I first hit it I thought my bumper's gone because that thing was huge it was like the size of Sheila it was like that much done for right now I just gotta gotta let it dry for 24 hours and I might do like two or three coats and then um, after like the second or third coat it'll start looking like carbon fiber hoods or, or trunks or carbon fiber pieces like you get that super shiny um, finish and that's what I'm going for but yeah I hope it holds on and it helps the uh, it helps the splitter a little bit but anyways I'll keep you guys updated and um, I'll show you how, how it looks 